safe. Safe. Yeah. That is such a big part of my life. Like, yeah. And it took me a long time to get to a point where I understood that that's, you know, and, and I think it's really awesome that that came up because uh, when I when I go in and I start doing this stuff, when I talk about having four or five things, like, that's what I mean, mm-hmm. right? You know, safety. Security. Yeah. Security. That is a basic human need. Everybody has the desire for it. Right. You know, it's, it's across the board. Like there's, there's obvious like, uh, uh, exceptions to the rule. There's like, you know, one out of every 400 million people that don't care about safety. Right. (laughs) So, so I, you know, there's always going to be that, but most people have a desire to feel safe and secure. And, and, and so we take that one thing and we put major intention behind creating that in our lives right and so one of the ways that i do that is through the morning process you talked about Mm -hmm. the other thing is like affirmations affirmations are a big deal for me um sure okay um they're not i i try to not be like the Stuart smalley affirmation guy you know you are good enough (laughs) and smart which which is true there's some truth to that you know but there's also some there's also some uh uh, obnoxiousness behind that type of thing. But, um, one of the, one of the things is a continual same thought process. So I do believe in habitually doing the same thing over and over again to create a pattern within my brain. Mm-hmm. And so one of and the science would show that that's true right? over and over again. Yeah. Like we read it in many books, we talk about it, we hear it from, from so many different sources. If you're in any type of self-development, circle at all you're going to hear that doing this stuff continually over and over and over in a period of time so uh affirmations so one of them that i have that's written on every every mirror in my house says if my child used this excuse would it be okay Mm -hmm. right Mm -hmm. and what that does for me is it puts me in a place where i can step back as the provider and recognize that I am the example of safety within my home. And if I'm the example of safety within my home, what actions do I need to do on a daily basis to show this, to create safety within the minds and hearts of the people that I love? Mm -hmm. And so I read that, I internalize it, and I go throughout my actions based on that with full intention of creating safety within my home. And so um, when I go out and I start, going throughout my day and I have these actions, then I can go back and I can re-verbalize that affirmation, right? So I come up against an obstacle and the fucking resistance is there. I don't want to do this. I don't want to, I'm not feeling it. I deserve something different. Right, yeah, that sounds all too familiar. You know, what would I tell my child in this situation if he was openly talking the way that I am inside of my mind? Huh, Mm-hmm. Right. What what's something that I would say, you know, and if it's I don't want to do this, I can't do this. I don't believe in myself. Then I have to get into a little bit of the Stuart Smalley stuff for myself. Come on. You can do this. Mm-hmm. You've already done this before. Mm-hmm. This isn't anything new. We'll get through this. Let's let's do the work. Let's get it done with so that it's over. You know, whatever, whatever that internal dialogue needs to be to get me through the resistance. That's what I do, because. My intention is creating a person that 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 provides safety for the people that I love. Right. 